Welcome to Cozumel, home to the beautiful beaches and snorkeling and crystal clear water. Tasting nine different authentic Mexican tequilas, or finding the best Cuban cigars in the area. In this video, we're going over eight incredible things in Cozumel, Mexico you won't believe exists. Also, if you enjoy anything in this video, please smash the like button. And if you would like to book these excursions yourself, please reach out to Cozumel Tours Excursions. They come highly recommended and their information is in the description box below. We've been to Mexico a few times and on our recent trip, we were able to add on to our list of fun things to do in Mexico. Number one. First on our list is the Jade Caverns. Filled with rich history, these caverns have minerals in the water. While you shouldn't drink this water, the Jade Caverns are a natural experience that will help cleanse your body and is great for the skin. Number two, you can also go cliff jumping. Woo! One, two, three, go! Now, I must warn you, during our time there in Cozumel, we were in the season of Suroleste. This is when hot air meets cold air from the southeast. So currently clouds are forming and it's a bit windy. Definitely looks like we may be running into some questionable weather. Ah, uh, so right now guys, it's raining a little bit. Just a little bit of stormy weather, but we're at the lighthouse and uh, hopefully it clears up a little bit because we want to go on an adventure. How are you doing, Liz? Great. <laughs> Alyssa's driving right now, as you can tell. I'm not driving right now. Just driving, hands-free. So guys, we made it to the lighthouse here at Punta Sur, the national park. And uh, we're about to go up the lighthouse. All the way up. 133 steps. Number three. If you want one of the highest points on the island, check out Punta Sur for an amazing point of view from the lighthouse. You can see the ocean crashing against the coral reef. Even though it's a bit cloudy, it's absolutely gorgeous. And if you didn't know, Cozumel has the second largest coral reef in the world. During the Mayan times, this was an important trade center for them. So guys, I hope you can hear me, but you see that down there? That was the first lighthouse that was built. This one right here, that was the second, which means the one we're standing in right now is the third. This is the third lighthouse that has been built here. Um, obviously this one's still standing and is still operational. Mayans were also really astronomically advanced during their civilization. Pretty cool stuff considering the telescope wasn't invented until the 1600s. But knowing the stars helped them predict seasons. And knowing seasons helps you predict the weather. And knowing the weather helps with fishing. What are you doing? I'm playing. <laughs> playing pirate ship. Pirate ships. Captain Hook. You look more, you're more of a Captain Jack Sparrow. You're a little bit nicer than Hook. Oh, that's true, that's true. I also like a lot of rum. <laughs> Guys, this is pen and ink to write letters at the original lighthouse here. And Arturo is telling us that this is where his room was. So people used to live in here in the lighthouse to keep people safe and keep ships from preventing them from crashing into rocks. Number four. Now I know Punta Sor Beach looks perfect for swimming, but I suggest you avoid doing so unless you like crocodiles. That's right, saltwater crocodiles use Punta Sor to wash off bacteria from their skin, meaning they're taking a bath, surfing the waves, and waiting for lunch. So uh, don't swim there. Crocodile Lagoon. We're about to see some crocodiles at the Crocodile Lagoon. It's only slightly terrifying, but he did say crocodiles don't bite Floridians because we have gators there. So, sounds good enough for me. We see a crocodile. Oh my gosh, look at it. Number five, 
Depending on the season, or in this case, the stars, you can look forward to Rodeo de Lanchas, also known as Carnival of Boats. Over 200 boats come to fish for mahi, wahoo, marlin, and tuna. Pretty neat, right? But before we talk about food, let's talk about tequila. Number six. So I know some people think they know tequila, but the Tequila Ra Reyes knows tequila. In fact, they manufacture and produce their own authentic tequila that can't be found in the States. But lucky for us, we get to try some and bring it home as a souvenir. All right, so now that we are done seeing all the crocodiles, it is time to taste some tequila. Let's What's go. up guys, we are about to taste some tequilas, not just any tequilas, like Mexico's best tequilas, authentic. And Tequila Reyes, it is home to some of the world's best tequila, authentic. Like, the stuff that you get in the States, mm -hmm. right here, this is where it's at. Let's get some tasting. Mm. All right, so we are going to taste the first tequila. It has been aged for seven years. Salud. Salud. Any liquor we drink first, we activate grounds and palate by smelling. If you don't smell the liquor, it will be more aggressive than what is normal, okay? So we smell it, so you will feel the sugars, the flavors of yeah. the liquor, you notice that? Yeah. But if you actually nose, this one has been aged for 12 years, okay? Salud. 12 years and it's American oak, so it's sweeter, it's smoother, it has more flavor. What do okay. you think? It's great. It is more That's flavorful. 12 years, salud. It's a small badge. It's only 2,500 handmade bottles per year. All right, so this is tequila blanco with coconut water in it. Um, it smells delicious. I like to do a lot of it. Mm. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah, like hot <laughs> Instead of like fireball, cause fireball is but after Guys, how many shots of tequila we've had already? Number seven. Once you've gotten a nice buzz, you can go for a boat ride or snorkel here at Tortugas Beach Club. But since the weather wasn't in our favor, we think it's time to grab a bite to eat. The last stop on our tour is Tortugas Beach Club. We are getting some lunch here. Um, it's starting to rain a little bit more, but um, we should be fine. We should be fine. It's raining pretty hard right now, but these chips are very good. And they might be my favorite chips at a Mexican restaurant. Ooh, my butt is getting wet. It is really raining. Well guys, as you can see, uh, it's raining a lot, but we got food here and uh, it looks delicious. How is everything so far? Very good. Yeah. So guys, they brought out some uh, rice and beans, pico, some fajitas with chicken and steak. We just crushed a guacamole, but these quesadillas though. Um, Y'all, so we ordered a margarita and look at this thing. I wasn't ready for that. This is, this, is, this is bigger than me. Well, it's delicious. Ooh. We're having a lot of tequila today. Now, cigars aren't for everyone, but if you love cigars, Alberto is your guy. Guys, we have to make a quick stop at the cigar shop. Hola. He's gonna hook us up with some Cuban cigars. Monte Cristo. I got Monte Cristo, Monte Cristo number two. Which one is Cohiba? Ooh. I get a special edition. It's called the longest cigars in the world. It's Monte Cristo. It's uh, the famous Cohiba Robusto. One of the famous ones. Wow. All authentic from Cuba. You. Echo in Cuba. Yes. 
This is Tortugas Beach. This is the only place you can get authentic cigars from Cuba. All real stuff, all different vitolas and all good stuff. Cozumel is filled with tons of things to do for everyone. Whether you're here on spring break or an avid cruise passenger like us, Cozumel is filled with rich history, culture, food, and beauty. Smash the like button if you haven't already. And if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. And we'll see you in paradise.